This is the current Mitsubishi Colt, and it has the same mean face as his much scarier family member, the Evo 10. I mean, look at the prominent headlights and pronounced grille. Also, the boxy shape means you get plenty of space for adult passengers. As you can see, there's actually quite a lot of space in the back here. What I've done is I've borrowed the cameraman and I've got him to put the driver's seat into the position that Matt would have it. And you can see there is a lot of leg room and a lot of head room. I'm only five foot four and a half, but people that are taller than me would still be okay in here. And I would say there's easily enough room for four adults. And then if you're a child sitting in the middle seat, there's even somewhere to rest your feet. Also, let me show you this. This rear bench splits and folds down like so and then the back seats fold down and it folds completely flat and creates so much more room and then if i put this seat down as well that's created quite a lot of space in such a small car So if you go for the middle of the range model, you get cruise control, air conditioning and alloy wheels and there's extras that you can get such as leather seats which are very nice in here and also a Garmin sat nav system which if you like having an extra set of eyes on the road it actually gives you an audible warning when you get near a speed camera or a traffic light camera. Also there's a lot of adjustment in the seat, if you're really tall it goes all the way back here, I can't even touch the pedals now. Also. You can move the seat up quite a lot. There's almost as much adjustment here as there is in an MPV, which is pretty good. Now time for the car buyer bottle test. Not quite as big as some of the bottles that we've used, but it even fits in the glove box. And there's also cup holders here and here, and some little cubby holes here, and there's another tray here, and another cup holder here, and the bottle that I put in the glove box will just about fit in the door bin as well. This is a zesty little hatchback that really wants to keep up with the rest of the traffic. But if it's a real pocket rocket that you're after, then the Rally Art version is the quickest in the range. And that's powered by a 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine, and that pushes out 147 brake horsepower. That sounds like a lot of fun. The Colt comes with a choice of engines, but it's actually the 1.1 litre, which is the quietest, which is perfect for city and town driving, as is the suspension, as it copes very well with rough road surfaces. Unfortunately, that brings me onto the downsides, and when you get any of them up to speed, they become quite noisy. And the ClearTech version is not as economical as a Volkswagen Polo Blue Motion, which means it's more expensive to run. The other problem that I have with this car is safety equipment. Unless you go for the range topper, you don't get side airbags or even traction control. And also, this large windscreen pillar is a bit of an obstruction when driving around a city. Also, it's full of hard plastic in here, which does make it look and feel a bit cheap, although it is logically laid out. Let's not forget though that this is at the budget end of the Super Mini's market and no matter which model you go for, the fixed price servicing should help keep running costs more manageable and Mitsubishi is well known for reliability.